Hello there and welcome to The Body Coach TV. I'm Joe Wicks and this is a 20 minute kettlebell workout. All you need is one kettlebell. I'm using a 16 kilos, so get a weight that's gonna challenge you. We're gonna do things like swings and squats, um, yeah, plenty of great exercises, and it's basically 10 moves, two rounds. We're gonna work for 40 seconds on each move, followed by a 20 second rest. There's no break in the middle, it's just two rounds, 20 minutes back to back, all the way through. So first exercise we're gonna do is a goblet squat, picking up the kettlebell, nice and close to the chest. We're gonna hold this kettlebell here. As we come down nice and low, we sit into the deepest squat we can, drive up through the hills, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quads at the top. That's our first move, 40 seconds on that. Then we have our 20 second rest and go on to our next move. Are you ready? So goblet squat, hug the kettlebell nice and close to the chest, feet flat on the floor. Off we go, sit down low, drive up. There's no race here, it's not a rush. Slower the better. Squeeze the quads at the top as well. Squeeze and clench the glutes as well if you can. I'm using my elbows as a marker, so when my elbows hit the knees, that's, that's when I know I'm deep enough and I'm coming up. So drive through those heels, flat feet on the ground, 20 seconds to go. <sighs> Love kettlebells. It's a short session, it's gonna be quite intense. We're gonna build up the uh, strength in the cardio as we go through. 10 seconds to go. Drive nice and low. Even deeper if you can in the last couple of reps. Really deep, deep, deep. Drive through the heels. One more rep. Squat and drive. Okay, 20 second rest. Right, what we're gonna do now, single arm swings, okay? So it's quite tough when we're within 16, but I'm gonna swing for two and front squat for two. So essentially, a swing for two, come up into the front rock position, and it's two squats. So two swings, two squats on the right side. Are you ready? Let's go. So swing for one, swing for two, Bring it up and land and squat for two. One, two, repeat. Two swings, swing the kettlebell, single arm. Bring it up into that front up position. We squat down low for one, squat down for two, and repeat. Whew. Big session, big compound moves, lots of muscles working. One, two, and again, swing from the hips. Use those glutes and hamstrings, come up. And then we bang out those two deep front squats. And rest. So your feet are fixed, your feet are fixed in the swing position. You don't move them, you squat from the same position you swing from. Okay, so side on. I'll do this set side on, okay? So we're gonna, again, two big swings, rack up front squat from that left side. Okay, here we go, let's go. So swing for one, swing for two. Bring it up, and then we do the front squat. Good, one, two, and again, swing, 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 rack it up, and drop those two deep oh, squats. Woo. Now we're cooking, one, two, bring it up, front right position, we drop down, one, and two, it's got a tummy watch around, and again, swing, Swing the last two squats. Two reps. One and two. Ah, recover. Next exercise, single arm. Clean and press. So from the floor, we're gonna grab that kettlebell, bring it up into the squat position, and we press so into the clean position and we press it. Okay, so it's gonna be four seconds on the right side, four seconds on the left. Here we go, so snatch it up. From there, press and down. Ground, snatch, and press. Really get up nice and quick. Use that little push press, you can use those legs, okay? So when you get up into the shoulder rack position, little bounce, press above the head. 20 seconds to go. And again, from the ground, snatch it up. Squat, press. A lucky little push, little half press, uh, and rest. Oh. Recover for 20, same thing left side. So we're really trying to get that from the ground, up to the shoulder as quick as we can. A little push press, lock the arm out above the head. Are you ready? This is number five. Okay, so it's grabbing the corner here. Right, let's go. One, and press. Down, and press. Good, look at that arm out if you can. Above the head. Down, and up. Come on, 20 seconds 
to go. Mm. <sighs> Big push coming, so full body workout today. It's a really great session. 10 seconds on the clock. Mm -hmm. <sighs> last one, last one. <sighs> and recover. Our next move, kettlebell away. We're actually doing some push ups now. So, body weight only, either box push ups or full push ups. We're trying to get right down, chest to floor, and then push full range if you can. 40 seconds is the goal. I'm going to start off my knees, and I'll see how I go. So, chest to floor, push up good, and I want to do these slow reps. I'm not rushing them, I'm really going to control it. It's harder, the slower you're doing, the harder they are. Good, now you do this really tense the abs. I think about pushing with your core, the whole plank is solid the whole way through. Fifteen seconds. How many can you do? It's getting harder now, it's getting harder. Last push up for me. Last one. And rest. Up on our feet. Next exercise is going to be some double kettlebell swings. So the kettlebell, two hands on the kettlebell, nice big swings. This is exercise number seven, okay? Number seven, are you ready? Ah, okay. Picking that kettlebell up. Swing from the hips, let's go. Really hinge. So don't bend the legs too much. So soft bend the knees. Swinging from the hamstrings and the glutes. Good. Right, squeeze those hamstrings, squeeze those glutes. That's what creates momentum. The arms hit the legs, and that thrusting movement is what creates the momentum in the kettlebell. In 15 seconds, we rest. Next move is bicep curls. Okay, so using the kettlebell as a bicep curl. Oh, last swing. 100%. And you get the right weight. You feel that instantly in the glutes. If you're not feeling the glutes and you're feeling the quads, it's because you're squatting too much. And you need to one soft bend and swing and thrust forward. Okay, bicep curls. Hold the dumbbell. Sorry, hold the kettlebell. From there, curl. As I said, how was tucked in? Control every movement. Control it up. Control it down. This is number eight. Ah, ten seconds on the clock. It's getting tough. We're gonna rest this dumbbell up. Uh, call it dumbbell. Rest the kettlebell down on the ground after this. Mm. Rest. Oh. Okay, we're hitting the biceps again. This time we do three curls and then two reverse lunges, okay? So three curls, two lunges, one on each leg. So two, three curls. Let's go. So curl for one, curl for two, curl for three. Hold the weight, step back, one lunge. Two lunges repeat. Three curls. One, two, three. Curl for one. Lunge for two, sorry. Ah. All right, three again. One, two, three. Lunge. Lunge. Last set. Three. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Have to drop that. This is it, number 10, the 10th exercise in the round. We've got a lovely for this one. We need some burpee deadlifts, but they're not full burpees. It's kind of like a half burpee. So, dead, uh, dumbbell, kettlebell, just in front of you. Hands go on the ground like this. Kick out, come up, deadlift. Let's go. So, kick out to the plank, jump, forward, jump forwards, and deadlift. Repeat. Kick out, jump, kettlebells. Really kind of in between your feet, right in the middle, and then you drive through, okay? So, you kick back, jump forwards, kettlebell on the feet, drive, hinge through the hips, 
We're hinging from the hamstrings and the glutes. Last 10 seconds. Kick out. Stretch the hamstrings. Last one. Last one. And recover. That's 10 moves complete. We're not stopping now, we're going straight back through. Second round. Heart race up there now, look. So back into the goblet squats. Kettlebell. Oh, in both hands. This is brutal. Okay, ready? Kettlebell, close to you. Goblet squats, we go, go again. We go slow, we control it. Build that strength. Get that time and attention. Good. This is good. Good session. It's not an easy workout today. This is the second half. It's going to feel hard, isn't it? But we're not going to give up. Let's finish it. Even if you stop a few seconds early on each set, it's fine. But finish that last tenth move with me. Get the down. We're going in now with a single swing, so it's going to be. Right side, two swings, two front squats. All the way through on the right, let me switch. Okay, so two big powerful swings from the glutes. And then it's two nice deep front squats. Like this. So one swing, two swing, bring it up into that front row position, two squats. One, two, repeat. Swing from the kettlebell, swing from the hips. Up we go, land it, squat it, one. Two, one, two, 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 and two. Last set of swings. Keep that elbow as well, like keep it up. That's another the chin. Elbows up higher. That's where I'm going to be wrecking it. Ah. My heart rate's up there now. One, six, two. Great session, great effort. Maintain it. We go left side now, two swings on the left. Are you ready? Are you ready for the left side? Okay, let's go. Swing, swing, racket, and squat. For two, one, two, one, two, racket, front squat, one. Oh. Ah, 20 seconds left, swing, swing, rack it, and we don't drop that elbow, bring it up, there, mm. ah. Ah. last 8 seconds, 2 swings to finish, and rest, oh. big sessions that, big, big swing, big moves, a lot of muscles working there, Love it, good work. Can we stick together through this last bit? Can we keep going? So clean and press right side, move it from the ground, snatch it up, press up. Okay, let's go. Up to the top, front squat, press it. Oh, it's hard on the shoulders now. Really hard on the shoulders. 16 feels like 50 now. Ooh. Nah. Make sure you use those legs because you've got to get that little push. That little push press there just helps you get up. Mm. Come on, last one on this side. Last set. 10 seconds. Let's do one more rep. Last one. Come on, last rep. And rest. Oh. I'm happy I chose that way because it's challenging. I could have done 12s. I've got 10, I've got 8s and 12, but I knew that was going to challenge me, it's going to push me. And I've only got 20 minutes today, so I'm going to make it count. You know, so choose a weight that's going to challenge you, yeah? Oh. Left side. Let's go. Up we go. Press on the head. Come on, see you work. Hit those reps, hit those big reps. Next up, we're going to go down. Four. Push ups. Oh, 
But I find that holding it in the corner is better than the centre. Hold it slightly in the corner and that just lets you sort of rotate the weight in the right position for the push press. Ah, last one. Ooh. Weight down. Breather. Oh. Yeah, this is getting me. We're doing it, we get it done, we always do. If we start together, we finish it. It's always the rule. So push ups now. Probably gonna struggle with these. Full push up, but I'll go for a set, see how I go. Maybe drop down onto the knees. Oh, slow reps. Remember, slow reps. Chest to floor. And press. Chest to floor. If you do start to struggle, it's better to be on the knees and finish with good form and be off the knees with the back all arching, arse up in the air. Come on, let this is still good. Chest to floor, just same move, less resistance. Same move, just pushing less body weight. Ah, 10 seconds. Ah, come on, we've got a couple more. We've got two more, do you reckon? Last one. Ooh, ah. Recover. We've got four more exercises now. We've got the double kettlebell swing. I'm drenched now, covered in sweat. This is a workout now. We're engaged. You ready? Kettlebell swing, so double, double hand. Um, again, don't swing from the quad, swing from the hips, use the glutes and hamstrings. Let's go. Let's go swing. I can some soft knees. So I'm not squatting like this, I'm not dropping right down. The kettlebell is actually hitting my bum. It's hitting my bum. My forearms on my thighs, and then when I thrust my hip forward, and that's what drives the weight forward. I'm not using my shoulders. It's not really upper body move. You're just hanging on to the weight. Oh, squeeze the glutes. Hang on the tension. It's a hinge from the hips. Hinge and drive. 10 seconds. And rest. Okay, we're getting the arms now. Definitely feel that in the glutes. It's a good weight. If you go too light, it is hard to feel the hamstrings and glutes working. I always think like a, t a sort of 12, 12 kilograms or above is normally a good weight for that. And I wouldn't swing much more than 20 to be honest. Right, bicep curls. Let's go. One, two. That's it, we're curling. Focus on the contraction all the way down and up. Cool, I feel my upper back, all the muscles in there, every muscle is fired up right now. That's it, curl. Nice, close, narrow grip, bicep curl. Hitting those biceps, hitting the inside of the arms. Ah. Ah. Come on. Last eight seconds, eight seconds. Recover. Oh. Two more moves. So next up we're doing three, uh, three bicep curls, two lunges. Burpee, get things finished. Been great, what a great workout. 20 minutes, man, it's lovely. It's a lovely workout. Perfect. Okay, let's go. So one, two, three. Hold that kettlebell close. One lunge, two lunge, and again. Three curls. One, two, three. Hold that kettlebell high. One lunge, two lunges. Three again. Come on. One, two, three. Ah. Oh. Come on. Lunge. Lunge. Ah. Okay, last set of curls. Three more reps to finish. Three, two, one. Oh, I can feel every muscle through my mid and my back. Because obviously that works when I move forward. Having to stand up works every muscle there. Final move then, this is it. 40 seconds. Remember, you land those front hands. Basically, hands in front of the kettlebell. Hand the feet in the middle, then lift up. Let's go, so kick out, jump forwards, drive through. Kick out, jump forwards, really deadlift through, bring that weight through the legs. So this is really working the posterior, we're not using our quads. We're pulling, so it's sort of stiff leg if you like, and drive through, 
Same muscle we've been using for the kettlebell swings. Okay, last 10 seconds. This is the final move, final round. Let's get one more each in there. Ooh, last one, we need one more for them. One more for safety. Stand up. Drive. And relax. Well, I gave that 16 kilo on a good scene too. I'm happy with that workout. 20 minutes, brilliant effort. Thanks again for joining on the Body Coach TV. There's more workouts to come. If you want more support of your training and nutrition, check out the Body Coach app. It's incredible, it's life changing, and you're going to get an amazing meal plan for a progressive training program to really build strength, really build fitness, and actually get results and proper smash it this year. Check it out on the iOS, search the whole Google Play Store, just search for the Body Coach app. It'll be there, there's loads of reviews. Check it out. If not, see you in the next week for another workout. Well done, and take care.